Hi there, Linda Goodall here. Recently, I saw an image that looked something like this design, and I thought, hey, that would be easy to recreate and hatch, so let's do that. In a new window, we'll select the lettering tool. I'll type stay home, all in caps, and then I'll do another line, save lives. Move that down there. And I'm just going to use block two and we'll keep it at 10 millimeters. Select the top line and I'm going to go to the lettering art toolbox. And I'm going to choose number 13 here and it's not quite shaped the way I want so I'm going to press H on my keyboard or you could just press reshape up here and make it a little more peaky and that looks pretty good. Let's select all of that and change it to black. I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to put some rulers out here. They're almost the same length, but not quite. So I'm just going to select this bottom line and kind of stretch it out this way a bit. And I'm not too happy about the spacing, so I'll press H again. And I'm going to just click on these diamonds and move them closer together. I don't really care that there's more space in the middle. That's, that's fine with me. I'm not going to reshape this line because it would distort my roof line. Now we need to make the roof. Go to the Digitize Toolbox, choose Digitize Open Shape, and we're just going to make a line, oh, something like this. And I'm going to change that to a satin. Move it up just a bit. Change it to 3, and I'm going to go to the Effects tab, Choose Elastic Embossed Fill. I'm going to get, give it a pattern. And you can play around with the patterns and just pick something you like. Let's set that to gray. Now all we need to do is the chimney. So I'll use the Rectangle tool, change this to a fill. And I'm going to use an embossed fill. So let's just make some kind of chimney shape here. Select that, press H again and move this up like this. And on the stitching tab, I'm going to set the angle to zero. And I'm going to pick the brick pattern. And those bricks are a little big for my chimney, so we can fix that. Come down here to Advanced. I'll set the width to four. Set the spacing to four. And set these values to two and two. Change it to red. There's my chimney. How fast was that? When you get familiar with the tools in Hatch, you can really create simple designs like this very quickly. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please do make a comment. See you next time.